Psycho fancy problem of Nigeria. Inibehe F. Young knocks reps on proposed ball at Tinubu University. And now to the news in full. A human rights lawyer, Inibehe F. Young, has knocked the House of Representatives over the proposed bill to establish Bola Tinubu University. F. Young described the proposal as a psycho fancy, saying it is a problem in the country. Daily Post reports that the reps seek establishment of Bola Tinubu University to teach Nigerian languages. The bill is sponsored by Deputy Speaker Benjamin Kalu at, and eight others. But in a post on his ex handle on Saturday, the human rights lawyer suggested that Tinobu has not done enough to revamp Nigeria's educational system. Talk less of coming to say you want to build a university. I don't know what we need a university for in this country to teach Nigerian languages. What Nigerian languages are you, are you teaching? Why do, we, why do you think that people would want to learn Nigerian languages? And you want to build a university in your name with whose money, with taxpayers' money. Misplaced priorities. There are other things to do. There are other issues in the country that are more pressing than you passing a bill for, for, for a university. Pass a bill to, to, to declare um, food supplies in the country. Pass a bill to, to, to reduce the price of oil in the country, not passing a bill to want to build a university. So many misplaced priorities. All these people, they, they are just going to that place to sit down and just discuss nonsense and go back to their house, collect allowance. They are not doing anything reasonable in that place. He said, some members of the House of Representatives have introduced a bill to establish a Bola Sinobu University. The same Bola Sinobu's educational background is shrouded in controversy. What has Tinobu done to revamp Nigeria's educational system? Psychophancy is a problem in this country. It is, it is, it is really a problem because why do you want to build an university at this point in time? Imagine, a Tinobu university, Nigerians are not valued at all by those elected to represent them. And it is the truth. Jacob says all this problem stands on the rigging machine called INEC that rigged both the nurse and the executives into the office. And yes, it is true because if they were, if you did not rig your way in, we would have had somebody that has the mindset of the people, that has the thought of the people at heart, and it would be running the presidency now. But no, you can't do it. You did not allow somebody that can do it to enter. Uh -uh, what is it? Psychophancy is an is an is a major shadowy profession in Nigeria. It is an ingrained system issue. The worry shows up big time when representatives elected to serve the interest of the constituents turn back against them for inconsequential aggrandizement. Ken Otto says, animals in government. And this is just the truth, because these people, they act like aliens, like as if they don't know what is going on in the country. They like they are oblivious of the pressing issues that we have in this country. Rather than say you want to pass a bill to build a university for people to come and learn Nigerian languages. Like... These people, what kind of brain are they using? What kind of brain are they using? Celeste and Ugo says this regime is an opportunity for plenty nonsense. I'm telling you. Plenty nonsense. Tired Nigerian. <laughs> he said his name is Tired Nigerian. I can't believe this. And Nigerians are suffering and quiet. That's it. The Nigerians we are too gentle. We are too peaceful. We are too loving. Any, anything that happens, any price in, 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 food, in food commodity, once we ah, we get angry about it for like a day or two, before you know it, everybody goes back to their normal way of life. And life continues like that. Ezechima said, this same Kalu again, his psychophancy and hypocrisy stinks to the high heavens. Patrick Obiko says, in the prevailing harsh economic condition and widespread hunger, and with established universities falling into despair and lecturers paid a pittance, this is what the House of Representatives is deliberating. Like, help me ask them. They have just shown that it is filled with worms, bootlickers, and senseless buffoons. Yes, there are so many other issues in the country to face. The university sector is not doing well. You are not paying lecturers as well. The, everything is not going well in this country. And you think that, okay, you have to build a university in the name of the president. What are you trying to do? They are trying to, to, to rub his ego, to rub his back, to make him feel as if, oh, 
you have you you, you like him, you love him, and so that is why you want him to build a university in his name. It is total rubbish, total nonsense that they are doing. Karen Deadeshagun says, NAS is a department in Department of Ministry of the Federal Government. The disposition of the members should not be a surprise to reasonable Nigerians. Psychopathy and rubber stamp are attributes of the NAS. Cecilia says, Useless House of Representative. Dr. Seydou says, Sinobu University of Hardship and Technology, because I don't know why they need a university right now. It is not a pressing issue. It, it should even be wiped out. As soon as somebody suggested it, they should have just called his bluff and said, what are you saying? Say something else. There are so other pressing issues to talk about. Oluwa Shegun Emma says, your license will soon be withdrawn from you, nuisance. Benneth Ewebulam says, I have maintained that the institution has not been of any benefit to the nation except plain psychophancy to the gallery since they are mere appendages to the executives. There is no point duplicating offices. Given our link resources, the executive can handle their jobs. And that is just all this house of rape. All of them should just be eradicated. All of them should be sacked. People should go back to your house and sit down because you don't have any tangible thing to talk about in that house of representatives. You are just talking rubbish, talking irrelevant things, talking things that will not bring progress to the country because how will a university solve the issues of feeding that we have in Nigeria? How will it solve electricity issue? How will it solve light issue? How will it solve pressing issues in the country? How will it? Talking about building universities. Friday Augustine says, it is foolishness taking too far. Philip Chimere says, university has power. The way we play politics, I just have this feeling that our politician loses their brain and heart by default. The moment you have a platform, it is sad enough. I'm telling you, once they are there, they just forget about where they are coming from. Even most of them that, that are coming from bad backgrounds before, that maybe they got an opportunity to enter there, they'll just start misbehaving, start doing anyhow because they've not smelled power before. They've not, they've not seen huge amount of money before, so they lose their home training. They lose everything that they are thinking. They lose their thought of reasoning. And, and when they get there, they, they just forget about everything that they have said they are going to do for the people of the citizen. They just go there and siphon money for themselves, talk about rubbish, talk about irrelevant things. It is really a sad thing for us in this country. And I hope that the House of Representatives is eradicated completely because they don't know what they are doing in that place. They don't. My listeners, over to you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.